Allow me to welcome you to distinct contractors to one of our sites in uh, Kikuyu, that is Kiambu County, uh, where we've been the design and build we've, we've, we've the, the design and build scope, and uh, we are privileged to work who've been uh, operating from the word go. And so in this scope, we are the distinct contractors and uh, the scope is design and build. Uh, and I welcome you to our site. So the scope of this project is a four bedroom isonet, which is a flat roof, which has three suspended levels. And uh, the type of the soil, as you can see, is cotton, which is about five feet deep. From this side where we have uh, an underground tank, you can see it's about five feet from the, to, to get to the maram level. And so the most preferred type of foundation is doing suspended foundation. Where we're going to do, we did columns, we've done columns, and we'll also do ground beams. And in this case, we've preferred to use a beam-to-beam -beam type of flow, which is going to be a saving uh, to the client's level because we are also not intending to do any backfill in this case because we are going to purely suspend the slab. Uh, as you can see, the backfill has just been done. The levels where we are going to have the beams, instead of using the bottom leveled uh, formwork, we are using backfills to different layouts eh? to the supposed layouts where the beam layouts are we using the beam layouts to do the backfill um, after this is one we will introduce our beams and get to do after the, after doing our beams is when we will do our, our t beams our hollow blocks and do a 50 millimeters layer why are we doing this we're doing this to do to first get the right thing for the right place and also do a saving to the clients. <laughs> 